Hey, so I'm nervous, excited. <laughs> I'm in China, I'm in Shanghai, and I'm just leaving on a train to leave the airport and head into the city of Shanghai. Never been here before. So a couple times uh, from getting off the plane to here, I've stopped somebody and they spoke English so they could help guide me, but uh, everything's um, obviously in Chinese. flight to Manila I knew that I'd have a lot of time in Shanghai and so I was hoping to be able to explore but I didn't apply for a visa uh, early enough but it wasn't a problem at all there was a, a line I had to fill out paper and they didn't really ask me any questions because uh, they knew that I'm coming back tonight to the airport to catch my flight to Manila so anyway I'm in China All right, just got off the train. And uh, it says exit. It's exit. All right, so I'm hungry and there's no English anywhere. So I'm gonna ask the guy if, uh, if he speaks English and if I can get some food without any meat or dairy. Well, several people got in front of me in line. So I don't think I was waiting in line correctly. But the guy didn't speak English anyway, so I saw him putting raw eggs and stuff in there. And I'm like, eh, I don't know how to ask him not to put egg in mine. So I'll go find somewhere else to eat. So I went back to the subway and was trying to look for signage, but it was all in Chinese. So I asked the guy, do you speak English? And he said, yeah, which the first person I asked spoke English, which was very handy. And uh, I explained that I'm just looking to explore for a few hours, where should I go? And he pointed at a picture with a big tall building. I said, sure. So he, uh, he helped me purchase a subway pass, metro pass and told me to ride this train five stops. So, I'm here at this cool city. Ooh, I think that was, I wonder if that's the, that kind of looks like it. Let's go see what that is. So I feel like I'm a tourist in New York City, but without the ability to understand anything. New York City was quite epic. I kind of feel the same way here, but I feel lost. All right, I'm hungry, and across the street, ooh, looks like it's counting down. Looks like there's some food options. Let's see what I can find to eat. Amazing too, this is like a big tall walkway. It's taken me a bit to orient myself and familiarize myself here, but what I'm finding really cool is there's these above ground walkways in the entire city. So I can just cross over the street. There's walkways that go wherever I want to go above street level. So pretty cool. I guess I'm heading towards a mall. I still haven't found any food. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I found an option that said it was fried tofu found that that's not available. The restaurant doesn't open for a couple of hours. It's still 9 a.m. in the morning. Anyway, I'm gonna find some food. So at least I'm not the only tourist here. 
I'm here in the mall and it looks like they have food. <laughs> There's places under construction or that aren't open yet. Because people don't eat this early. Or just me. I'm gonna make my way over here because I have to say this is one of the coolest buildings I've ever seen. My, definitely my favorite building here. So there's the spiral one right there. It's like hollow on the inside. This one right here, that is pretty epic. Okay, I found something promising. It's right down there. That word restaurants is calling my name. All right, so I found a market and just bought some groceries. I bought some fruit juice and some water and a couple salads and um, what else did I get? Some banana something or other. I think it's like a banana sauce. Anyway, just bought what I could recognize. I'm gonna just find a nice place to sit down so I can enjoy my food. This, I can handle. Not sure what that meant. Not quite sure what this is, but it's cool, so I'm walking through it. Okay, so a little time has passed. I'm actually hungry again, and I found a Del Taco, but they don't have beans. So when I, I was gonna order a bean burrito with no cheese, but they don't have beans at Del Taco in Shanghai. All right, so instead of wandering, I found a tour bus that's gonna take me around. It's about a two hour tour. And I get to go on a ferry. I didn't fully understand everything, but I uh, figure somebody else showing me around. I've got like, I don't know, ferry tickets, bus tickets, and something else. So we'll see what this is. I just took this ferry across this waterway, so I'm somewhere else, <laughs> but people are just scattering. I don't know where the tour group, the tour I'm on, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> so, I don't know. This is what I'm talking about. Check this place out. So that's where I was. Clear over by those buildings. This is cool. This is definitely a tourist trap. <laughs> but, uh, that's what I'm doing, I'm a tourist today.
Check out what I found here. Totally found something for me. Okay, so I just paid extra to come into the Shanghai City Temple. It's reading on the wall outside. It looks like this area has thousands of years of history. So I'm just going to uh, check things out and walk around and be respectful. thing figured out so I gotta show you. So the entire city of Shanghai has these tour buses. There's uh, like five different lines that are different colored and you just buy a pass and for two days for 48 hours you can just get on and off the bus as many times as you want any color that you want to go to whatever sites you want. So I just kind of got lucky. I took the ferry across this river and then I took the bus to this old city but I'm ready to head back and I want to go up to the top of that thing right there so we're going to head right back. Okay, when I came earlier, the lady said come back this afternoon and get a ticket this afternoon. So I came back. Looks like it's a little bit um, more intense. There's like I get the idea that there's roller coasters up there and lots of stuff up in there. We are a roller coaster at 95 meters. Didn't expect to see buildings like this in Shanghai. So, I just got down. Didn't take me quite as long to get down as it took me to get up. But now I gotta make my way back to the airport. Let's see if I can do it and see if I can make it there in time. I've given myself 
two and a half hours to get to the airport. Well, that's before my plane boards. So, should be okay. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you want more like this, give it a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know because episodes like this take a lot more time. They're a lot more work, but they're also a lot of fun. So I appreciate hearing that. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.